All right, guys, we're down here today. We have a bunch of things we got to get done. Right now, we're taking the skid steer out with the bush hog on the front, and we're gonna mow some trails up through here, over to the stand, and then go around the back of the property over that away. There's a lot we gotta do. I'll explain more in depth once we get started. But uh, yeah, we just got here, already ate breakfast. We're ready to go. We're on the way out. Uh, first things first, we're gonna leave this cut over and go cut around the other cut over on the back of the property. After we get all that taken care of, we will go and uh, check all the trail cameras, like uh, that one we have for the trespassers and all the deer cameras we put out last week. See if we got anything, hopefully. I'm kinda looking for some tire tracks. I haven't really seen any yet, but we have had a lot of rain, so I think that might be a reason. Anyway, the camera's right up here, but we'll have to come back to it. If you haven't been following the Trespasser series, I'll have all the videos linked in the description. One of the videos is actually us putting out this camera. It's been out for a couple months now. We've kinda just let it sit, so who knows? We might have something on it. This is one of our stands. Uh, it's on this road bed, it's right in the bend. You can see down that way a couple hundred yards. You can see down that way a couple hundred yards. Good stand whenever the rut's coming. Right now we're clearing out the trees around it on the way to the old cutover. That's actually grown up into a thicket now. But uh, if you guys are, enjoy this video, obviously I'm saying this pretty early on in the video. There's gonna be, we're gonna be down here every weekend. I might even take some school days off to come down here and work. We have, shoot, I think we have like 50 stands that we have and that we need to uh we're gonna have to put out like 30 more we got a lot of work we got to do down here today's food plots tomorrow's food plots but right now it's bush hogging so it's what we're doing right now this man's crazy yo this foiler is idling high i think the choke is stuck this is one of our dirt bike trails we actually come up through here and then take a left right no, right there the caution tape uh, we haven't been through here in a while on dirt bikes, but we haven't been riding in a while. Hopefully we'll start back once deer season goes out. Where'd that buck go? I just saw a good buck. This cut over last year was the spot. There he goes, there he goes. Damn, I don't think I got him. I saw his white tail. He was just sitting there. I can kind of tell he was a buck from his body. I was looking for horns, sheds from last year, and uh, I saw him. I couldn't see his rack because uh, some limbs were in the way. So I started slowly getting out my camera and he took off. It wasn't a shooter, but he was a good one. Looked like a nice eight point. We probably got trail camera pictures of him. I'm thinking right here, somewhere in here, we gotta put up a winter stand. It's come gun season, this will be the spot. All right guys, we're done here. Uh, the cut around this cut over and the other cut over. We're headed to the store. I'm headed to the clubhouse on the foiler so we don't have to load it up. And then uh, we're headed out to eat. We'll go to the store and eat lunch. So after that, I guess we'll check all the cameras, put out corn, and check all the pictures we got. I stopped filming. We were working on the food plot in here, and the four wheeler, it will not run. I think there's trash in the carburetor. It will start up, but. It will not, I mean, it'll even idle, but the idle will go high and low and then you can't give it, give it, oh my gosh, this is going to work. You can't give it any gas. So we loaded it up onto the bush hog because that's about the only way we could figure to get it onto the trailer. Wow, this is actually going to work. We haven't put out corn, put out cameras, nothing yet. We've been running around with that bush hog all day. that worked we're at one of the uh, corn piles just pulled that camera card got it pulled up here first camera card of the year this is at the power oh my god this is at the power line dad's over there doing some work on the field why did I click that I meant to click folder I'm about to look through these pictures without him and see what we got some does it looks like they found that quick I think that was the first night honestly Oh shoot, that's that's that coal. I was about to shoot that deer at the last of last year. He's a freaking huge body deer. Needs to be shot.
Goddamn boys. It's showtime. He's not really that big, but dang, he's never gonna be anything worth shooting. Guess I'll have to use my coal tag on him. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you guys up unless something. Uh, I'll bring you guys back out if something actually decent shows up. All right, guys, it's the next day. There is obviously no more bucks on that kick trail camera. Uh, we're at one of the cutovers, getting one of the feeders from last year. Cause our stand blew over. Uh, we're taking that on down to a little finger of woods and we're gonna set it up, put a camera on it. Back at the truck to get some corn and grab some trail cameras. I wanna give a shout out to, uh, where are they? Bowley. Bowley has some awesome trail cameras. They hooked them up, hooked me up today. I'm gonna be trying out their SG560K, which is like a IR camera, I'm pretty sure. And then we got even a flash camera which I'm excited about. Where is it? Here it is. This thing's dope. Really excited about this one. So we're gonna get these out. I think I'm gonna use the flash camera on that feeder just to see, cause I'm so excited to see what kind of pictures we can get off of it being it's flash. So uh, should be extremely cool. I'll have them linked in the description and I'll let you guys know next week how the pictures come out. Go ahead and show you guys what this uh, flash camera is about. It kind of surprised me when I opened it. I wasn't too exactly sure what I was getting myself into, but uh, it's actually kind of cool. So you get like a little remote that plugs into the camera so you can adjust your settings and whatever. And uh, at first I was like, ah, you gotta carry this around just to check your cameras. But if you have even two of these cameras, it's, it's well worth it because that's what keeps the camera small. Look at how small this camera is. It's so dope. And this is a flash camera. I remember the big flash cameras back in the day. They were humongous. I think it's 8 AA. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I think I'm done setting it up. I guess. I mean, the camera's turned on. I guess I just unplug it, right? That's what you gotta assume. Well, that's flashing. And that looks good. Yo, this lizard is so cool. Focus. That thing's big too. Holy crap. <laughs> that sucker can move. We just pulled one of the cameras. This is actually the camera that we set up for the trespassers. So hopefully we'll have something on it. It's pretty dry. It doesn't look like no one's been through here. It's been out for months, but uh, maybe, maybe we'll have some. All right, guys, we are back at the house. This is the card that uh, was out for the trespassers. These cards already went through. I was saving this one for last because that was set up on a road. There might be something on it. There might not be. We'll have to see. Um, this has been out for like two months, I think. Something like that. I'm expecting there's a lot of pictures. 
kind of curious to see what's all on here. Well, there's us. Okay. Coyotes. All right. More coyotes. 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 Is that more coyotes? Wow. We have a lot of coyotes this year, apparently. We might have to actually do something about it. Used to, we wouldn't do anything about it, and we'd get overrun with coyotes, but I uh, think I might trap. What do you guys think? Look at this. Daytime coyote pictures. That coyote looks run down. I guess they are summer coyotes. Look at that. Daytime pictures again. Holy. You never get daytime pictures of coyotes. What time is this? That says 1047. I might would have been in the stand. More daytime coyotes. Holy. You'll hear them ha start howling during hunting season right before you climb out the stand 50 at a time. Crazy. Alright guys, I'm going I'm to buy some traps. This is, oh shoot, this is a prime example of why we need to trap coyotes. More coyotes, more daytime coyotes, coyotes. Holy. All of these are coyotes, guys. Daytime coyotes. All these little blurs, those are coyotes that we're running by. Look, packs of two. Running together. And this is... Look, more of them as soon as the deer come through there. Oh, there's a buck. Look at that dude. Dang. That's a nice deer. How old is he? Oh, I think he's a three-year-old. He'll get the pass for this year. Look at that. More small little bucks. I was a deer. I, look, this is why we gotta take out coyotes. Look at this little fawn. Do you think he, she stands a chance against a coyote? No. Look at that. There's a big bobcat. Oh, ain't he an ugly joker? Look, another same big bobcat. That's nice to see, actually. I'm not too worried about bobcats taking out fawns, especially knowing we don't have many bobcats around. Look, there's that little, there's another little fawn. We gotta do something. Who is this? I'll, I'll take a picture of that. What does that say? I can't read what that says. Huh. Interesting. Deer, fawns, coyote. What? No. 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 Look, guys. We got we got him. But that's not we didn't chase him that day. We chased a dirt bike. What? That's a 400EX. And then see, I told you guys we've been seeing four-wheeler tracks down there. That doesn't match our four-wheeler. He's got a red cooler on the back. Red, blue helmet, blue, I bet that's a TRX 300, I guarantee you that's a TRX 300. Huh, let's see if we got any more. Uh oh, I can't believe we got, I can't not believe we got, uh, there's got to be more pictures. Wow, look at this, I'm still blown away at the amount of coyotes, it's crazy. I cannot believe we got them. Here, let's flick through these really fast, see if we got anything else. More coyotes right in front of our camera taking a crap. I'm about to call my dad. Okay, that's it. That's it. There's my dad in his back brace. <laughs> so let's go back to uh to those trespassers. My dad's sleeping right now, I think. Yes, that clock's wrong. It's not 652. I can't believe that. Guys, we we have them on camera. We have them on camera. Alright guys, we just passed the uh, truck. They should be coming up. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, oh my gosh. We got them. They, we just got, how are we going to catch them? I don't know. We could, I don't know what we're going to do. Can you believe that? Look at this. 
Look at that. Let me get my thumbnail or something. Did that work for a thumbnail? Maybe? That's crazy. Hold. Alright, guys. My dad's sleeping. I'll show him this in the morning. I'm not going to film it. I'm going to go ahead and close off the video. Uh, I don't know what to say. I seriously don't. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Did you like the vlog? Did you not? Tell me in the comments. We, we're going to catch them. Videos to come. We're going to figure... we got to figure out some way to catch these guys. I'll, I'll catch you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.